And now some fresh pickings from the political grapevine. The big three broadcast networks are devoting much more time to the sexual harassment allegations surrounding Republican presidential candidate Herman Cain compared to their coverage of three separate Bill Clinton scandals. The Conservative Media Research Center looked at morning and evening newscasts on ABC, CBS, and NBC in the first three days since the Cain allegations from anonymous women and sources broke. For Kane, there were a total of 50 stories. Compare that to one story in the first three days after the Paula Jones scandal broke in 1994, three stories following Kathleen Willey's July 1997 claims of being groped by the president, and three stories after Juanita Broderick came forward in February 1999 to say Mr. Clinton raped her. Separately, Politico, which broke the Kane story, posted 76 items related to the controversy between Saturday and 4 p.m. Eastern this afternoon. Back in September, we told you that President Obama had a photo fail during a United Nations group picture. At one point, he raised his hand and joked photographers had to have gotten a good shot. But at that exact moment, President Obama's hand completely obscured the man standing next to him, who happened to be the president of Mongolia. It happened again today at the G20 summit in France. A photographer asked attendees to get back in formation. After a moment, President Obama waved to say he was done. But that meant India's prime minister got the talk to the hand treatment this time around. And finally, San Francisco wants all nudists to keep their pants on, literally when dining or sitting in public. The city's Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to outlaw naked people from eating at restaurants. And while they are nude, they must place a cover on public chairs and benches before they sit down. Public nudity is generally tolerated in the city, but apparently this was a problem in some neighborhoods.